uh, of the um, of, of of the vineyards of uh, Selene Montrachet. So it's something um, they try to say, it's something sommelier sometimes used to remember all the vineyards actually in that district. There are, in this case, tonight we're we're looking at 14 premier crews and, uh, and one grand crew. None for us, Michael. <laughs> Sorry. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's a sign of a great sommelier. Pour out exactly the amount of wine that is in the room. So we'll, we'll give some cheers there. So in the Middle Ages, the Lord of uh, Montrachet had a son. See the son on there. So he left the. Uh, <clears throat> so he left to participate in the Crusades following the Church of uh, Saint Bernard in Versailles in 1149. Since the Chevalier was taking a long time to come back, the Lord of Montrachet was so sad. So he took the habit of taking walks near the club, uh, the menu, where all the, the merry young ladies of Pucel, which is one of the wines tonight, which was unfortunately the corked wine, used to be. And we're supposed to, and so what happened happened. Of course, another son appeared. The Lord of Montrachet had a bastard son, which is Batard Montrachet, which is one of the Grand Crews. Then the Lord of Montrachet received a very sad letter that his son, the Chevalier of Montrachet, died in battle, which was the Damascus battle. Of course, the Lord of Montrachet, the Grand Prix of Montrachet, turned around and uh, claimed that son, the bastard son. And in return, that is where we get the name Bienvenue Batard Montrachet. They welcomed that son. I, can, I might be even a little bit out of order. And that's where that slide comes in. But it's always a quirky little story to remember the Grand Crews and the, uh, and the Premier Crews and how they all come together in the, uh, in the scheme of the Montrachet. So, 06 Vintage is primarily what we're tasting 